Don't have the skills or tools to build your own pergola from scratch? Not a problem. You can get a kit on the internet and put it together in about five hours with a bunch of your friends. And we're going to show you how we did it. Coming up. Our friends Jeff and Susan always wanted a pergola in their backyard to block the sun and create an outdoor living space. They've had this large patio for 20 years, but often can't enjoy it because of the blazing sun. So they bought a kit to build a 12 foot by 16 foot pergola off the internet from Amish country in Pennsylvania. It was delivered on a long pallet a couple of days prior with many of the parts pre-assembled. The posts wrapped in white vinyl were laminated from several layers of wood for strength and stability. The rest of the lumber was rough sawn, pre-cut, and pre-stained. Of course we just get started. Didn't get anything assembled yet and it starts to rain. So, but what are you going to do? You can't predict the weather. Wet pergola. What a shame. Here you can see some of the uh, hardware that it comes with. Big bags of screws, three and a half inch, three inch, inch and a half. Some of the blackheads, whiteheads, they give you some extra stain. And of course, a nameplate that says Amish country gazebos. And some hardware plates. And over here we have the, these are bases that will go on you know, just trim that goes on the um, the bottoms and the tops of the the posts. Thankfully, the rain only lasted about two hours, and we could begin assembly. The posts were very heavy and slippery, even though we dried the rain off. The post and beam structures were built upside down. The tongues on the end of the posts slid into a slot on the beams. I attached the posts using an impact driver and six three and a half inch screws. Yep, I'll zoom in on it. It's high performance underwear. Line her up. Watch your fingers. Get your fingers out. Get your fingers out. Go into push away from the house. About one inch. There it goes. Uh-huh. All right. Good job. Then, like a good old-fashioned Amish barn raising, we stood up the post and beam assembly, then muscled them into place. That's a fair with five bucks. Of course, we were delayed by a couple of minor debates. Double beams connected the two post and beam structures together. We measured diagonally corner to corner and adjusted the posts until the measurements were equal. That's how we knew the structure was square. Next, we used a four foot level to adjust each post for plumb. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, now you can put that down. More screws and brackets completed the supporting structure. 
except for a couple of decorative accoutrements. which were held together by the big metal plates. Next came the rafters, which fit into notches on the beams and were screwed at an angle. And then came the trim boards on top. And that's when we discovered a problem. All right, I gotta throw the Amish under the bus a little bit for their quality control. If you can see, these notches do not line up and we just turned that rafter around thinking that maybe there's a right way and a wrong way. And they're both bad. So make sure you have a saw on hand if you're gonna build a kit from uh, this place. Is that shorty up there? Yeah. That, that little one is an inch. An inch off. People don't buy kits to do this. That, that's how you have a back. Completely back. Yeah. Look at that. That's how bad that was off. We had to notch. We had to take that wood out. That was like an inch out of each one of these boards. You shouldn't have to do that when you buy a kit. Because a lot of people don't have the tools or the uh, the know-how to do it. So, it's a good thing this didn't uh, get sent back. Well, there you have it. Even though we had problems, it went together in about five hours with five guys and two helpers. I'm sure the problems we had are rare, but obviously mistakes do happen. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.